Hello everyone, it's JoshiHack56 here and today I'm going to show you how you can add cheats to Project 64. I'm going to show you that in all the versions of Project 64 that are currently available. So without further ado, let's get directly into it. So here we are, and as I said in the intro, I'm going to show you this on all the versions of Project 64 that are currently available. You see them right here, and these are the most used versions nowadays. Let me just explain a little bit. Uh, some people still use Project 64 1.6. You can see that right on the top here. So if your Project 64 looks like that, uh, follow this screen right here. If your Project 64 looks somewhat like this, and it has 2.3, 2.0, 2.1, then follow this. And if you have the newest version of Project 64, which is 3.0 or higher, then you want to follow this. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, you want to open your ROM. And you can use any ROM you want, but I'm gonna use Super Mario 64 for this example. You can use any N64 game for this. All right, so I've got my ROM open. Now, the first thing you want to do to make sure hide advanced settings is unchecked. In all the versions you can go to options and settings. And in Project 64 3.0 it will say configuration. For Project 64 1.6 looks a little bit different. You want to go to the options tab and the other versions you can see the checkbox right away. You want to make sure this checkbox hide advanced settings is unchecked. Once you got that unchecked click OK. To close the dialog. Now the next thing we want to do is actually add the cheat. Now for this you need to open the cheats menu. There's two ways to do that. You can use the key combination control and cheat all together and that will open the cheats menu or what you could do is go to system and then cheats and that's the same for all the project 64 versions all right now as you can see it looks a little bit different for the versions project 64 1.6 doesn't have this this extension box right here uh, well the newer versions do for 1.6 you want to right click in an empty space and choose add new cheat and for the other versions what you just want to do is click on this little extension box and then that same menu will pop up. Now in here what you want to do is give your cheat a name. So I have a cheat code already here which is that I always have the metal cap. So I'm gonna name that always metal. The name doesn't matter but just choose something where you can easily remember it by. And then you want to paste the cheat in here and if you did everything correct the add cheat button will appear. If not Make sure you don't have any spaces at the end or the beginning of the cheat line. And uh, cheats can be multiple lines, so check every line and then hopefully the add cheat will appear if you did everything correct. Now this is the same for all versions, so just add the cheat and then it will appear in the list. So there I did it for version 2.0 as well. And there you can see it has been added. Now what you then want to do is Check the cheats that you want to use, tick the checkbox, then close that cheat window. And here's the last thing you need to remember. Some cheats will instantly apply while others don't. So to make sure your cheats apply correctly, you want to restart the game. And you can do that by reopening the ROM or choosing system and reset on Project 64 1.6 or in the newer versions, that's reset and hard reset. And then if you did everything correctly, your cheats should be activated and you should see the result in the game. If for some reason the cheat doesn't want to get added, if it doesn't show up in the list, there's one more thing you can do. And that is, if you have a shortcut to Project 64 on your desktop, you can right click it and choose run as administrator. Then a little prompt should show up and you want to click yes and then try adding a cheat again. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If it was, leave a like, subscribe for more tutorials like these and I hope to see you again somewhere. Bye bye.